We already see generative AI uh, changing our lives. For example, it's already replacing uh, search engines. Uh, now uh, AI assistants can uh, answer all our questions uh, without uh, us even having to look at uh, uh, web results. In the future, uh, we will see that AI assistant will re replace a lot of uh, apps that uh, we are now using to uh, solve uh, different problems, uh, to, to, to do different tasks. And there will be some general AI that uh, will just solve all, all our problems. When we have to book a holiday, then we uh, need to decide where to go, and how we get there, and uh, where we are staying, how we move around, what we'll visit. We can use uh, different AI apps for, uh, for each one of these uh, different things. Instead, in the future, we will have our AI assistant that uh, will uh, will just do uh, all of this uh, in one go, and we will just talk to to the assistant, and the assistant will just do everything. In addition to uh, general AI that uh, can solve uh, many tasks altogether, there will be still uh, some uh, specific AIs that are uh, expert uh, in solving a particular task that is uh, hard, like, for example, programming, uh, also uh, in healthcare, uh, for example, diagnosing disease. For those uh, very technical and specific tasks, we will have uh, uh, specific AIs that are not kind of generalist, but there still will be AIs that we can talk to like we talk to, uh, uh, to our colleague or our friends.